ओके गाइज सो वेलकम बैक अगेन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ दैट हाउ डू वी गेट अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स सो नॉट लेट सी दैट हाउ डू वी फेच अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट्स बाई इट्स आई डी सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टारगेट दिस राउट हियर दैट इज वी आर सेंडिंग अ गेट रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस राउट हियर दैट इज लोकल लोज पोर्ट थ्री थाउजेंड फॉरवर्ड स्लैश प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फॉरवर्ड स्लैश आई डी सो वट वी आर डूइंग हियर इज दिस दैट वी आर सेंडिंग द आई डी एज द राउट पैरामीटर सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस आई डी फ्रॉम हियर बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू सेंड अ सिंगल आई डी टू दिस राउट हियर एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ पुटिंग आई डी हियर वी वॉन्ट टू पुट द एक्चुअल आई डी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट वी वॉन्ट टू फेच फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस सो लेट्स पेज दैट आई डी हियर एंड नाउ वी आर सेंडिंग अ रिक्वेस्ट टू फॉरवर्ड स्लैश प्रोडक्ट फॉरवर्ड स्लैश द आई डी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट वी वॉन्ट टू फेच फ्रॉम आर डेटा बेस सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू अ प्रोडक्ट राउट डॉट जे एस फाइल हियर एंड हियर वी आर टारगेटिंग दिस राउट हियर दैट इज गेटिंग अ प्रोडक्ट बाई आई डी एंड हियर दिस राउट इज हैंडलिंग दिस थिंग हियर दैट इज फॉरवर्ड स्लैश कोलन आई डी सो दैट वी कैन गेट द प्रोडक्ट आई डी फ्रॉम दिस राउट पैरामीटर सो करेंटली वॉट दिस डज इज दिस दैट इफ वी गो टू हियर दैट इज सेंड अ रिक्वेस्ट हियर वी आर गेटिंग गेटिंग अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट एंड दैट इज बिकॉज वी आर सेंडिंग अ रिक्वेस्ट लाइक दिस दैट रिस्पॉन्स डॉट सेंड गेटिंग अ सिंगल प्रोडक्ट सो लेट्स रिमूव दिस फ्रॉम हियर एंड फर्स्टली वॉट आई वुड लाइक टू डू इज दैट आई वुड लॉग इन द आई डी डैट वी आर गेटिंग एज अ राउट पैरामीटर सो हाउ कैन वी गेट द आई डी फ्रॉम द राउट पैरामीटर इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल सो वी कैन सिंपली से कॉन्स्ट आई डी इक्वल टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉट रेम्स डॉट आई डी because this id is this thing here that is the name here so what we can do we can simply log it inside our console to check the id that we are getting in the request so console log and we can simply log in the id here and we can simply send the response back something like this response dot send id and this is only for testing purposes so now let's save this application the application is restarted here and now let's make a get request to get a single product by id so we are sending this request and we are getting this id back here and as you can see in the console here that we are logging this id that we sent to the that we sent to the server so now let's see that how do we fetch data using this id so let me remove this console log statement and response dot send id so again what we are going to do we are going to use async and await so firstly what we need to do we need to use the try catch block so try catch and for the error let me simply log in the error in the console so console log error dot message and now in the try block what we want to do we want to get the product with this id that is coming as a route parameter so here i am going to tell you two ways to get the product with id firstly we'll be using the mongoose find by id method and secondly i'll be telling you another method that is find one method so firstly let's see the find by id method so we say const product equal to await since we are using async and await await product dot find by id and this is a mongoose method and here you can simply pass in the id that you get as a route parameter and our id is this id that is this thing here and now what we can do we can simply send this product back to the client so response dot send and we can simply send this product that we are fetching from the database and since we are using await here we need to mark this callback function as async so let's do that so async like this and now let's save this application and the application restarted and now let's go to our rest client here and now let me send a get request so here we are getting this product back with this id and that was iphone 11 so now let's get a list of all the products again and this time i want to get this product that is macbook pro 13 inches so let's copy this id so control c or command c on mac and then let's paste this id here and now let's make a send request here or a get request to this route here and let me click here so we are getting that product back that is macbook pro 13 inches price 1299 and the id is this id that we passed as a route parameter so now this is one way of getting the product using find by id so now let's check another method that is find one method but if you are passing id as a route parameter then this is the best method to use that is find by id but instead you should know about the find one method also so let me comment this thing out from here and here what we want to do we want to say const product equal to await product dot find one like this and here you need to pass in the query and the query would be something like this that is underscore id because you want to search the database with id and then we pass in the id here like this and now let's save this application so now let's go back to our rest client and most likely we'll be getting the same product back so let's click here that is a get request here so again we see that we are getting the same product 
but we can make it sure by getting a list of all the products again and fetching another product so let me fetch this iMac with 17.99 price so let's copy its id here and now let's make a get request here to this route here and now let me click on send request here so we see here that we get iMac with price 17.99 and the id is this id so guys it's up to you that which method you want to use but i suppose that if you are using id as a route parameter then this method is the best method that is find by id because it's a wrapper around find one method and it is provided by mongoose and it is the best method to use inside your api so guys that's all about this video so probably in the next video let's see that how do we delete a product from our database so till then have a good time